So we're going to study rhythm in poetry and in songs right now. And I want to tell you a story. I tell this story every semester, but usually I'm on instructional television, so I'm just going to have to ad lib it right here without students laughing at my punchlines. We'll just see how it goes. Back in the day, as many of you know, I was a professional musician. And I would be playing in taverns uh, every weekend, trying to make my living that way. And there was this one particular gig I was playing where this really drunk guy came up to me at the break and he said, I've got an idea for a song. Here it goes. It goes like this. Now you just write the words and then I'll share the royalties with you, okay? All right, what this guy was doing was he was channeling what we're going to study next, which is a very common rhythm called iambic pentameter. I have some other videos, not just me talking at you, so they'll explain how rappers use this, how Shakespeare used it. It's a rhythm of five, and if you think about it, what he was doing was da 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 It's five. Penta, right? Iamic pentameter is a five penta. One, two, three, four, five. Rhythm. I am, think of this. I am, I am, I am. It's a short, long, short, long. That's not really what iambic is. You'll see the written version of that after this video. 